guys, Julia here. Today I'm going to be talking about writing in multiple perspectives and how to keep it easy to follow for your reader to understand, but also how to get into the crevices and all the different parts of your character through these different perspectives. So for The Scavenger, I wrote from four different perspectives. I wrote from the perspectives of Catherine and Samuel, both teenagers in high school. I wrote from Nathan, who is a police investigator. I also wrote from the point of view of Frank, who is a drug dealer in New York City. So all very different types of uh, perspectives and some of these perspectives I had more experience writing in than others. Obviously I was initially more comfortable writing in a teenager's perspective because I myself am a teenager, but as I went along I slowly grew more and more comfortable with all the different perspectives because I needed to be in order for the story to work. So if you're considering writing from multiple perspectives, I'm just going to give you some things to think about and some tips on how to keep it simple. But at the same time still getting everything out that you need to. So the first thing that you need to think about if you're considering writing in multiple perspectives is how many perspectives do you want to have? If you want to have two perspectives, do you want it to be every chapter flipping back and forth? I know in the book Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld there is two points of view going on back and forth. One of them is from a girl's point of view going through a publication process and then the other point of view is from her actual real book that she's trying to to get published. So those two storylines are going simultaneously. He does it in a really cool way where it's all interwoven together and like the character in the book and then the character in the character's book are going through all these different things and it's very interesting and very cool. You really just need to consider what scenes you want told from different points of view and which points of view that should be because the reader is going to perceive that scene in a different way depending on the character's backstory and what brought them to this point. So you need to think about how you want a reader to perceive an event and how you want them to remember that event because it's going to be different depending on which character describes it. Speaking of the different characters and making them different and distinct, you want to make sure that the voices of your different characters are different. I struggled with this, especially with the characters that I wasn't really comfortable writing. They all kind of had like a vanilla, um, very similar voice in the very beginning and as it went on I was able to change it and make it more distinct to each of them. But something that helped me do this is I obviously had a manuscript document that had all of the chapters but then I also made distinct documents for just each character. So just Nathan's chapters and just Samuel's chapters. That way I was able to go through them and make sure that it's consistent, that the characters are thinking of things in the correct order. They're not jumping to conclusions too early or too late. Their thought process is the same. Now another thing you're gonna to wanna to consider when you're writing in multiple perspectives is the length of the chapters. If you have very, very short chapters with all of your different points of view, sometimes it can get kind of choppy. But for the scavenger, there's this one big scene at the end that I wanted to be choppy. I wanted it to be going from one perspective to the other and back again and trying to figure out what's going on and how all these characters are coming together. If you have longer chapters, it allows the reader to get better situated in that character's perspective. Remember, okay, what was this character doing when I last saw them? What are they thinking about now? What are their goals? If you have short chapters, sometimes that can be more confusing depending on how you write it. So it, you just have to think about what your reader needs to understand and how much time you want to give them to process that. So don't move too slow because if you're too obvious about things, readers might get bored, but don't move too fast because then your reader might get confused and jumbled and not good. <laughs> The last thing you want to think about when you're writing multiple perspectives, which probably should be thought of earlier on and try to weed this out earlier, but sometimes you don't find this out until later, is if there's any perspectives that are extraneous. Once you have at least an outline or even a first draft done, make sure that there's not a perspective that you could cut out that doesn't change the integrity of the plot. If you have all these chapters written from this character's point of view, but it really doesn't need to be there and the character isn't deep enough or isn't useful enough to the plot for it to be prevalent from their perspective, then you might want to consider telling it from another point of view and just cutting their perspective out together. The less perspectives you have, the easier it is for the reader to follow. So make sure that you're only writing from the perspectives that it's crucial for the story and the plot to progress. Otherwise, it'll get too confusing and you don't 
you don't want any of that. <laughs> so that's all I have for you today. Have you tried writing from multiple perspectives? I'd love to hear how that worked out for you. Feel free to leave any comments or questions about writing in multiple perspectives in the comments below. If you would like to read a book from multiple perspectives, The Scavenger is available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle editions. You can also buy a signed copy via my website and I'll leave all those links down below. If you didn't see it, a little while ago, I released the cover and release date of my new book, Missing Her. I'll leave that video in the card, so if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out because I am so excited and it's just, oh my gosh, it's coming out very, very soon and I can't wait for you guys to read it, so make sure you're up to date with all that good stuff. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.